Hey, it's Devin Adams again, uh, Fortinet trainer here in Tempe, Arizona for Dynamic Worldwide Training Consultants. And this is our second video in our geo blocking demo that was requested by one of my one of my past peeps. Anyways, um, in the last video, we created a web server at DMZ, a VIP object for our DNAT for this demo. I also, at the last moment, included this random PC. Now, this random PC is just coming from a subnet, right? That's that's outside of our our test here, just to kind of test the whitelist, blacklist. It'll make more more sense in a moment. But all that is is a web term uh, box that we're using that I've used in the other examples here um, for our ping access and also for our Firefox. And uh, yeah, so just threw up another another device there so um, gave it an IP address of 10 204 and uh, yeah that'll kind of be like our control so but let's go ahead and talk about the uh, geo IP address list on the FortiGate itself now I'm using the free VMs in this environment okay now the free VMs do not have a FortiGuard support contract and the FortiGuard support contract is required to keep things like the application control database up to up to date. Um, it also includes the databases for like the internet service databases. It also includes the geo IP address database. But they're still listed there in the demo. It should work the exact same ways. I can't hop around countries anyways. I probably could, but I'm not going to, uh, to to truly test this out. But it should still work in practice. So let's go ahead and talk about that here. Um, here is my my FortiGate. I'm logged into the dashboard. So once again, guys, this is going to be a part of the FortiCare support contract from FortiGuard. So it is a license option. All right. So right now, I'm I don't have that there. But uh, I promise you that the um, IANA codes, right, the IANA uh, database is a part of this, okay? It's, it's with the general updates, all right? So where are these things? How do we access them? So um, for starters, let's go ahead and talk about creating a whitelist instead of a blacklist and what's the difference between the two. So whenever we create a whitelist, we are going to list just the countries that that will have access to whatever's behind our DMZ. All right, uh, it's it's way more fine-tuned in the sense of if you're not on that list, you're not getting through. All right. Now, instead of whitelisting, there's another approach called blacklisting. We're going to do both. Blacklisting is the opposite. So maybe we want everyone uh, to be able to access our resources, except for a handful of countries. So um, it's it's more of a you know everyone's allowed through except for country A, B, and C. So uh, let's go ahead and do it. So the very first thing we need to do is to make the address and the address groups. Now this might seem laborious at first, but if you think about it, uh, it really depends on if you're whitelisting or blacklisting, all right? And there should only be maybe 10 or 11 countries that you might want to whitelist if, if, if there's more than that. Uh, you probably just want to do a blacklist approach anyways, but um, let's first start with the whitelist. Are you guys ready? So we are going to go to our policy and objects, and we are going to create an address object for this. All right. So for each country that we're going to allow through, we're going to create an address object for it. So let's say that we only have VPNs within the US of A. All right. So I'm recording this from Arizona. So my little American bias there. So I'll just say USA. Okay. And if you hit the drop down here, one of them is geography. And this is going to be a part of the IANA database. All right. And there are our countries. So if we scroll down towards the use, we should be able to see the United States. And of course, you know, um, and we'll go ahead and say any interface in case we want to use it somewhere else, make it visible. We'll hit okay. And of course, you know, we could do several countries here, depending on who we do business with or who needs to access our resources. Now, I do not have any IP addresses updated in this database because these are the free VMs for our lab environments. It doesn't matter because I'm not going to I'm not going to tunnel through somewhere to test this out to a remote site. But we're going to pretend like this from the FortiGate down is Devina or something. I don't know. 
I, I'm not being very clever. I'm making my own country. I'm going to call it something here. Um, Devina, America, I don't know. And uh, this is just for our testing purposes. But that's going to be our public IP address block that, that you know, uh, IANA gave us. So um, good times. And that's going to be my country there. So, And you're going to do this for every single country that you want to accept through. Okay. And you're going to see later on every single country you're going to want to block. So the real magic comes into the address group. So here we're going to create a new address group group and we're going to call this whitelist all right and don't forget that you have your color codes here too so they can stick out well and then here we go so we'll Devina my made-up country and also the USA and that does get updated every two hours if there's a change with our normal database and as you can see as I hover across it there's there's zero right now and uh, yeah so that's why I have to also add in that Davina or whatever it is because I don't have a license. But for those that do have a license, you should see quite a bit of IP addresses there. So there we go. Here we are. We're going to hit OK. All right. And we now have a group called Whitelist. All right. Let's go ahead and while we're here, do our blacklist. Now our blacklists are going to be the countries that we want to block. Okay, so uh, let's just go ahead and, and add just one. Um, you always hear about China or Russia, uh, always, always hacking whomever. So uh, let's just do Russia, and we're going to do the geography for, well, Russia. All right, there we go, Russian Federation. Boom. Okay. But now we are going to make a address group for our, our blacklist. And these are going to be the countries that we don't want to allow through. All right. And then we'll permit everyone else. Okay. And the members will be our Russia. And I'm adding Devina here just as our, our control. All right. So hopefully that will get blocked. Uh, when we do the example, but we're going to have to do an example of each one separately. So right now, anyone can access resources from our, our DMZ, okay? So, but we now have our, we now have our two codes here, all right? And by the way, I apologize, that reference number is not the number of entries, my bad. That's actually how many times it might be used in the, uh, in the 48, so, um, you can still hover over the, the codes usually and, and get some kind of preview of it, but I promise you there's there's nothing in them right now. But uh, it should still work in our, in our lab environment and also in production if you have a license. So let's go ahead now and first look at a whitelist approach. So we are going to go to our firewall policy and objects, our IP4. We're going to go into our DMZ, all right? Web server, right now anyone can access our web server, but we're going to do a whitelist approach. So instead of the all, we are only going to accept our whitelist. All right. And uh, that is it. Remember, guys, on the FortiGate, the second that something is committed, I mean, it's committed. So uh, we should still be able to get access uh, to this web server or if it was a VPN or what have you, uh, anywhere in the um, U.S. and also Devina, my made up country. So let's go to our made up country here. Okay, and this was the us testing it before, but just as a control, I am going to go to my, um, let's see, my cache, clear it out, all right, just so we have a, just so we have proof that it's working, okay, and from Devina, an allowed country, let's see if it worked, all right, here we go, so 10. Dot two hundred dot one dot fifty was our made up public IP address, and there you go. We have access to it. So let's go ahead and just pick some random country that's not allowed, and that's what our control was. Now, once again, I have a ten dot two hundred dot four subnet here, all right, that I just attached a PC to the end of it, okay, 
and I will uh, actually confirm its connectivity because it really doesn't have DNS on it, but I can still make sure it's reaching out. All right, so we'll just ping the gateway there. We'll just ping 10.200.1.1, unless I have that turned off. Sorry, uh, 10.200.4.254. Okay, so it can make it back to the WAN router. I just realized that I had ping turned off on the FortiGate anyways, but it can reach it. So 10.200.1.50. Oops. 10.200.1.50. And it shouldn't be able to do it at all. Okay, there you go. So as long as they're not from Devina, or if they're not from the USA, they're not going to get to our resources through the DMZ. So that is whitelisting, but it also blocks everyone else. Okay, let's go ahead and do the other approach. Now, uh, the other approach can be done a couple of different ways, and I'm going to save that for our last video. But the other way to do it is if we have a single uh, resource that we're trying to protect, like our web server. All right, we're just going to go ahead and copy this bad boy and I'm gonna paste it right above okay I am going to change my whitelist to all all right because we're gonna want all countries here but we're going to do a explicit deny to the countries that we don't want them to have access to and in this case it's gonna be our blacklist so we're gonna say blacklist all right and in our source, instead of whitelist, we are going to have our blacklist. And instead of our um, accept, we're going to have our deny. And because we read our firewall policies from the top down, make sure we enable the policy. Now, Devina, because it's a part of that blacklist, and if I go ahead and I hover over it, you can see that Devina and Russia are part of the blacklist. And because it's a top-down approach, it should be hit first and be blocked, all right? Anyone else should be able to get access into our resources. Well, let's go ahead and test it. Are you ready? So let's go to our remote PC. Okay, so this is Devina. I'm gonna clear my cache just for our control. In other words, you know, so it's just not, it's just not cached. Anyways, all right, clear it out. And this is this is the the one that's now on the blacklist specifically, that was allowed through in our whitelist. So, but let's load this up. Let's try to get to our 10.200.1.50. And as you can see, because Devina is on the blacklist, all right, we're explicitly denying it. They're not going to get through our DMZ, just like Russia is not going to get through our DMZ because we listed it in the IANA country code there, okay? Um, okay, if that's the case, then this random PC anywhere else out on the interwebs, all right, uh, should be able to get through though, right? Because it's not it's not whitelisted, it's blacklisted. So let's, let's try it out. If it's true, then we know that it worked the way that we wanted it to. Bam, there you guys go. So that is a demo of both whitelisting and blacklisting okay so in the next video because this one's going long and I don't want to um, I don't want to go over too much all right we're gonna see how we can create a catch-all at the top of our DMZ for either whitelisting or blacklisting um, well specifically blacklisting and uh, see if we need to put in this match rule for our VIB object it should make more sense when we demo it. But uh, in this example, we did see how we could just allow a handful of countries and block the rest of them, which is whitelisting, or deny a handful of countries and allow all the other countries back through. And like I said, you could use this for your VPN access, you can use this for your, um, uh, you know, your web servers. And yeah, so there's the example, and I hope that all made sense. And like I said, in the next video, we're going to do our, our top level catch alls. And uh, I'll see you guys then. So thanks.